we? Positive movement. Who are we? Positive movement. And what do we do? We strive to keep positive minds, to decrease negative reactions, to bring unity to our community, and enjoy life abundantly, avoiding negativity. And why do we do this? To bring smiles to the hearts of our neighbors and to be role models to others. Ready. Arms down. Ready. Arms down. Arms down. March. Healthy relationships. That's the focus today, okay? Let's phones down. Phones down. Mr. Joe, that's their unhealthy down. relationships. Right. <laughs> Okay. Healthy relationships. <laughs> Focusing on the un, focus on the healthy relationship part. Man, what do you know about that? When's the last time you even talked to a female? 1992? <laughs> nah, nah, it can't be that bad. You can't be like a 40 year old version. Mm -hmm. You probably was a man back in our day, wasn't you? <laughs> Leave Mr. Joe alone, everybody. Mr. Joe, you're just a gentleman with a right tell him. Mm, thank you. Right, right, yeah. I do want to be just like you when I get older. Smart. <laughs> Hanging with a bunch of cool kids. Bad, nice. And, oh, yeah. Getting no buns. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Quiet. Yeah, quiet. Hey, hey, cut it. Cut, it. cut the malarkey. Buns. Cut it, man. <laughs> Yo, excuse me. It's the language, okay? And for your information, my life is just fine, okay? I don't need help from any of you. Where are those? You guys need my help. Mm. Let's, let's get back to the to the lesson, okay? And just give me, get, get you guys out of here on time. Healthy relationships. Now, I never had much of a social life. I was homeschooled all throughout my educational career you know, which allowed me to go to college early and graduate at age 19 with a degree in public health. And, you know, it could have been like any other 19-year-old partying, chasing girls, backpacking through Europe or whatever they do, but I saw a void in my city that needed to be filled. So I went home, I got a job at the We Try Foundation. I became a mentor, started helping kids and writing up programs. And I became the youngest program leader in the foundation's history. Now, this is an amazing feat, yes, but I got caught up and I realized that I've neglected myself during this whole process. And I've been reading these self-help books and it's given me the confidence to go after what I want. <sighs> now, well, who am I kidding? There's just certain things books don't help you with. And beautiful Girls is one of them. Damn, she beautiful. Her sun-kissed freckles. Her smile was like perfectly aligned chiclets. She's the only one who catches my attention when she's around. And I know the universe is giving me a sign. I have to follow my heart. You like her, huh? Excuse me? Man, I know you heard me. You like her, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. 
ねI don't know who this man was, but the universe sent him. So I trust him. If he's always has that entrepreneurial, that be your own man, be your own boss spirit, and you know, I respect that about him, I really do. He seems to be wise beyond his years. Speaking of which, I wonder how old he is. Huh. Well, either way, this man's on the right path. He's a genius, I tell you. I see him going around town, handing out flowers to people. He's even giving me one to try to help me build confidence to talk to this girl. I mean, I see him everywhere, so I kind of wonder if he's homeless or not. This girl, she is beautiful, man. It's like, without her, it's like no stars. I know that don't make sense, but my world is dark without her. That's what I'm trying to say. She's my sun and my moon. Kind of wanted to have my son or daughter. I just want to hug her, really. Anything. Just to be in her presence. It's like being in the presence of a goddess. I bet you her mom is Athena. It has to be. Beauty, power, those lips, those eyes. <clears throat> oh shit, I shouldn't I should stop. I can't stand up right now. And that is an unhealthy relationship. That's why I need to focus on. Wait, we're in a relationship. Healthy relationships. You need help, Mr. Joe? Oh, you being virgin for Halloween? Come on, come on. Because exactly. you're not asking work. questions to relationships. All I got is like, we just was talking about your relationship. Yeah, we said you don't have to answer our questions. But it's not. It's not about me. It's about our relationships. So we got a relationship. That's what you're saying. An appropriate relationship with the students. I'm gonna what email are you the saying? I'm sorry. What? We have a relationship with you. That's a little Sandusky. You too old for me. What does Sandusky have to do with learning? That's very inappropriate. Get your minds out the door. I don't like that, Mr. Jones. Relationships include friendships. Teacher, no, that's weird. You're right. That's pretty weird. Yeah, you're weird. Yeah. Mr. Joe, I'm so uncomfortable. We probably should just in the class. We probably just in the class. No, right no I apologize. Everybody know what class is missing. Let's go to Buffalo Wild. Hey, hey. It's my treat. My treat. Let's do it. Let's watch the Eagles. Eagles. No, we're not watching them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They stay too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I say about calling my kids back? Given them circumstances, they're actually doing pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. When you gonna let me teach them something? You know, I got wisdom. <laughs> you? Yeah. You have wisdom. Yeah, I do. I really do have wisdom, man. For example, what did you teach them today? 
healthy relationships. Boom. Healthy relationships? <laughs> Man, that's like the Pope teaching sex ed. You should have called him back up. Well, hopefully I taught you enough to speak on the subject. The curriculum is foolproof. Okay. Yeah, because you a fool for sure. <laughs> Man, when's the last time you've been in a relationship? Or are you still dumbstruck staring at that girl? Uh, so the pasta's pretty good, right? Uh-huh, yeah, that's what I thought. You still haven't even gotten the plate to hit yet. All in due time. I'm gonna get there. Trust me. What are you gonna do? I, I don't know. I'm just gonna say, hey, my name is Joe. My name is Joe. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Let me bless you with this. Mm. I got the thing for you, man. White Disney? Joe. Joe White Disney. Introductions are not necessary. Let me introduce you to the flower of love. It uh, represents everything you don't have the balls to say. Give it to that girl you've been staring at at the train station. Yeah, you, you know her name, right? Alright, um, thanks. I really gotta get going. Wait, David. I don't know. It's good though. Feel free to take the rest of it. Have they all right? Yeah, it's sure. Yours. Just take it. You're nothing done but a word, dog. We out here. What's up, girl? Girl, I'm over here waiting for you, later. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. No, Last night was crazy. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. making me so mad that's why I came here like she always be trying to take me to church with her and wear these dresses with flowers on them and shit I'm not going to church what do I look like like I'm little like a little girl okay well yeah I didn't think I looked little you know I mean 
could probably use a little church. Okay, well, let's move to a little bit lighter subject. How has everything else been since the suspension from school? Don't remind me, man. Damn. Denise, listen. Your sophomore year is your most important of your high school career. I know, I know, whatever. No, listen to me. Once you make it through and finish wrong, there's college. College, there's boundless opportunity, boundless experiences. Best years of my life all wasted it. Anyway, what do you, what, look, how, how do you want to live? I want to live like Eve. No, it's not about Eve, Denise. What do you want? I want to live like Eve. I just told you. Oh, she can't get through. She living better than you. That's not the point. I don't aspire to have somebody else's life when I can make my own. That's going to be pretty good. And I'm going to make my good. own too. It's going to be like Eve's, you know? But anyway, what's up with these flowers, man? Oh, they're... Who you got these flowers for? It's, it's there for nobody. Just oh, a, they stink. It's, it's just a joke between... How long they been here? Just, no, the flower guy gave them to me and... The flower guy. Oh, I knew you was about to change no. sides. Uh, will, you, will you listen? I knew you was going to give up Listen on to me. I knew Denise, they're, they're for a girl that he thinks I'm crushing on. A girl or a man? It's a girl. Are you it's sure a it's a girl? It's a woman. And we've been through this, she, man. She has long hair. I'm not getting... I'm not, I don't owe you an explanation, okay? They're for her. And he thinks I should give them to her because that's the way to a woman's heart. <laughs> but I just thought they would do better with me because... Why are you laughing? Oh, man, you, you ain't crushing on no girl, man. We all know she is an imaginary woman. She's a very she's pretty woman. I see her every day on the train. So you stalking people now? Listen, he thinks I should I give it, these man. to her because Creeper. they're... The flowers are way too And look at you, man. You got the stalker sweater on and everything, man. I but knew it. I no, knew it. it's just... I think the flowers will do better here with me. I'm good at botany. I know they, they're not going to work for her. Yeah, I do botany on the weekends. So... Botany on the weekends? Nigga, you a bitch. What? Are you good? Damn, that cut me deep. She does have a point, though. I have been bitching out. But that bitching stops now. That bitching stops today. I'm gonna go get my woman. Where you going? You gonna leave your own office? Yo, yo, I was just playing. Where you, where you going? I'm going to give these to my woman. Okay, all right. That's what's up, man. You graduated from non bitch assness. My man. Nigga, don't act like a bitch. Damn. <sighs> okay, there she is. There she is. All right. Just gonna walk up to her and say, hi, my name is Joe. I've been noticing you on the trip. No, no, that's creepy. That sounds like a stalker. About, hey, beautiful. I've, no, that's lame. That's lame. If she knows she's beautiful. She doesn't have to say that. Man, she's walking fast. Or if I just tap her. Wait, no. Fuck. Did she see me? No. All right, I'm just gonna go home. Let's go home. Do it tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, no. Look and go now. I'm not gonna stop. This time, this is now, no longer going to be average. She gotta stop walking at some point. And when she does, I'm gonna get right up to her like, hey, I'm Joe. These flowers are for you. Okay, but what if that doesn't work? Let me. Alright, alright. No, you can't do that. She already has my heart. Just attack your fears like Pinto said. Here I go. Hey. Hey. Damn it.
here. I just I don't know. I haven't seen you in a while. Do, do you not do you not see what I'm attempting to do? This is this is right. This is right. I'm like yeah, there yeah. in the moment. This oh, is the moment you gave I, me the flowers. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yep. Step out. I just want to go. I'm gonna step over. All right. Cool. Like, all right. Uh, hi. Um. Sorry you saw that. These are for you. It's about time. Of what? About time? <laughs> yeah, I see you every day. I even told my friends about you. No way. <laughs> for real though, look. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm the stalker now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my name's Lisa. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. Same. So this is what the other side of fear looks like. It is beautiful. So I finally got my dream girl. Things are going pretty shaky. But you know, if dreams are easy to achieve, everybody would do it. And everybody is not going after Lisa. Well, maybe they are, but I got her. But, like I said, it's a dream. And an AD. This Lisa is not average. I cannot be average. That's what Mr. Williams told me. But now whoever said dreams are free was a goddamn liar.
excited about this all week. Thank you. Seriously. You're welcome. No, Joe, honestly, you've been, these past few weeks, you've been so good to me. You are really a nice guy. Who knew? Who knew we would be here right now? You know, I've been thinking the same thing. Really? Yes, after seeing you for months on the train, just watching you every day. Oh my God. And so finally, oh my God. In this oh my God, he's here. <laughs> I ain't got no time for 